How to make visuals like this? Siguro nakita nyo na to sa mga feeds nyo, reels, shorts, and so on. These impressive and often realistic images are generated by AI. At gustohin man natin o hindi, AI is slowly dominating the web. With that, we have to keep up with the times and learn this new tool. Whether it's just to be updated, be familiar, or get acquainted with AI. It's a handy skill to learn. Thus, introducing Leonardo AI. Currently, Leonardo AI is one of the top and popular AI tool na free. Sobrang dali din itong gamitin. Pumunta ka lang sa website nila. Search for Leonardo AI. Click create an account. Yes, I'm on whitelist. And sign up using your email or Google account. Set ka lang ng username and pili ka ng isa dito. Pinili ko dito is art, then confirm. Select a role and pwede mo na gamitin yung platform. Ito yung homepage nila. As you can see, ang daming magagandang AI-generated images. One thing you need to know is free ang access sa platform nila pero limited lang. Meron ka lang 150 tokens, meaning around 100 images lang ang magigenerate mo for free every day. Magdedepende ito kung gaano ka komplikado ang gagawin mo na image, kung mag-a-add ka ba ng mga features para ma-enhance pa ito. Nagre-reset ang tokens every 12 a.m. universal time or 8 a.m. Philippine time. Going back to the home page, dito makakakita ka agad ng mga models na pwede mong gamitin pang generate ng sarili mong images. Model is basically that. Think of this na parang templates na pwede mong kuhanan ng styles. Ito yung featured models na provided by Leonardo AI mismo. While sa baba ay mga gawa ng ibang users wherein pwede mong gayahin yung style na ginawa nila. Take note though na pwede mo tong gawing basehan. Pero pag ginamit mo mismo ang exact image, pwede kang habulin ng creator ng image na to. Base kasi sa website ng Leonardo, ang mga nagmamayari sa generated images ay kung sino ang lumikha neto. You can also use these images commercially, so no copyright infringement as long as ikaw ang nag-generate ng image. These five sections here are more like displaying models which you can use for your designs. Homepage is like the newsfeed or FYP page. Community feed is dedicated section for images na gawa ng mga users. Personal feed is wherein makikita mo mga gagawin mong images, mga nilike mo, at anything related sa activity mo. Training and dataset is the section wherein makakapag-upload ka ng images na pwede mong gawing model para sa future designs mo. Pwede mo i-upload ang sarili mong mga pictures or picture ng mga artista para maging model mo. Take note though, na sa free account, Isang beses ka lang makakagawa ng model bas sa in-upload mo. Kaya siguraduhin mo kung sinong picture na iti-train mo into model ay gusto mo talagang gamitin. Mga malilinaw ang i-upload mo na images. Yung madaling mababasa ng AI ang facial features and kung posible wala masyadong background. Damihan mo na rin para sigurado. You can upload up to 40 pictures para i-train into model. Fine-tuned models naman ay parang summary lang ng 4 basic models. Platform, Community, Personal, and Favorites. Etong User Tools section, I would like to think of it as parang working area. If prefer mo na gumawa ng models from scratch, dito ka pupunta. AI Image Generation is the basic tool wherein mag-input ka ng prompts na intindihin ng AI at i-convert into images. Prompt is parang command kung baga or request. Kung anong gusto mong gawin ng AI para sa'yo. Ito yung default if first time mong gagamitin yung AI image generation. As you can see, 20 tokens yung nakaset as default. Ia-adjust natin yan as we go along. For ang default para sa magigenerate na image. Ibig sabihin, once magta-type ka ng prompt, magbibigay siya ng 4 images base sa prompt mo na pwede mo pagpipilian. Naka-on din yung pang enhance like prompt magic and alchemy. Prompt magic is automatic enhancement by Leonardo. Depende sa prompt na nilagay mo. As much as possible, susundin niya kung ano yung nasa prompt. Alchemy naman is built-in pang pa-enhance by Leonardo. Para siyang automatic edit sa photo mo. Makikita mo dito, yung mga enhancements na ia-apply niya like high resolution, contrast boost at resonance. Yung dimensions naman niya is automatic din na babas sa model na pinili mo. So for example dito, yung Dream Shaper V7, 640 by 832 lang. So yung magigenerate mo na image, around same resolution lang din. Kaya ang nakaselect din dito is itong 500 by 700. 
Itong guidance scale naman is parang manual at less sophisticated version ng prompt magic. Dito mo ay set yung intensity na results mo kung gaano siya magstistik or susundin niya talaga kung ano ang nasa prompt mo. Usually hindi mo nagagalawin to kasi yung default number or mid number is the safest value. Dito muna tayo, the rest of the functions I'll explain as we go along. Time to test a prompt. We'll do a very basic one like a very beautiful girl. Sinet ko yung generation to 1 instead of 4. So na may nusa na yung default 20 token cost to 16. A turn off na din natin tong prompt magic at alchemy. Very basic image lang muna ang gagawin natin. So from 16 tokens, naging 1 token lang yung cost sa pag-generate ng image. Try muna natin using yung default model dito, tapos mag-generate din tayo gamit ang ibang model, so we can compare. This is the result for the Dream Shaper version 7 and it's so good considering na very basic settings lang ang ginamit. No alchemy or prompt magic. If gusto mo din ay detail pa ang image, you can check Leonardo's suggested prompts dito sa prompt generation. You are allowed 1000 prompt generation per day. Kopyahin lang natin yung original prompt, then generate for suggestions. Pinili ko yung number 4. Ito yung prompt. Ito naman yung result. Nag-improve din talaga yung generated image sa pag-add ng details sa prompts. Using the same prompt, sinubukan ko siya sa tatlo pang models. Absolute Reality. 3D Animation. At RPG. Ito yung mga resulting images using the four models. Marami pang models na magagamit asay dito. Lahat ng to ay yung mga nakita nating models sa homepage kanina. Yung sa RPG na image, since girl ang term na ginamit sa prompt, e bata talaga yung resulting image. So iibahin ko konti yung prompt dito, gagawin kong woman instead of girl. Ang resulta is hindi masyadong maganda. Minsan talaga ganito yung resulta ng AI. Understand na computer pa rin naman ito, at hindi tao. Dito napapasok ang negative prompts. Ito yung mga specific characteristics na ayaw mo masali sa image na ay create mo. Like deformities, unpleasing features, at iba pang imperfections. Ang ginagawa ko, naghahanap lang ako sa community feed ng mga negative prompts na kukopyahin ko. For this sample, maghahanap ako ng full body images, para yung negative prompt na nilagay niya is for full body models din. Ito, very thorough, so try natin to. Kung mapapansin nyo din, naglagay siya ng brackets and parentheses. These are used for emphasis. Parang sinasabihan mo ang AI na sa lahat ng prompts, ito yung pinaka-importante. Ito yung dapat e prioritize So kopyahin lang natin to, turn on the negative prompt and paste. E4 na din natin ang generated images para mas marami tayong options. So from this one to this, it became so much better. You just have to play around with your prompts talaga to achieve the image that you want. Isa pang feature ng Leonardo is this image to image and image prompt. Ginagawa niya dito basically is may pagbabasehan siya na picture at gagayahin niya as much as possible yung picture na yun. Either kukuha ka sa community feed or pwede ka mag-upload ng sarili mong picture. Kukuha muna tayo first sa community feed. Etong Barbie Police. Click mo lang yung image to image and mapupunta na siya sa image generation. Using the same prompt of a very beautiful woman, makikita nyo na kinopya niya yung overall pose and form ng original picture. Isa pang example is of this woman in heavy metal. Same same nga lang din yung result considering na wala pa tong enhancement na ginamit. Pwede ka din mag-upload ng sarili mong pictures para pagbasehan. For this one, si Marian ang ginamit ko. Yung na-generate na image is similar pero disfigured siya sa first generation. So inulit ko with negative prompt na. May lumabas naman na maayos na image. Kumuha pa ako ng isa pang picture ni Marian at may mga magaganda ding resulta. Sinubukan ko using different model to animate the photo at may maayos din na image na lumabas. If may nagustuhan ka din from the community feed. Pwedeng-pwede mong gayahin ang mga prompts at settings na ginamit para makuha yung image. For example, itong castle na to. Kopyahin lang natin ang prompt. Naka-on din yung alchemy at prompt magic. 
Yung prompt magic strength is 0.5. So adjust lang natin to. Contrast boost is 0.5 and resonance is 15 which is already yung default sa alchemy. Yung preset naman niya is 3D render so set lang natin to dito. Of course yung model 3D animation. Dahil na naka-on ang prompt magic at alchemy, this generation will cost 20 tokens. Ibahin ko lang ng konti ang prompt dahil dinamit lang natin na basehan yung original image. So instead of night, gagawin kong day, and instead of stars, sun ang ilalagay ko. Gusto ko din e-mention to, habang ginagawa ko tong video, nag-update yung alchemy section to give higher resolution generations. Kahit yung basehan na model has much lesser resolution. Ito na yung result sa prompt kanina. Again, ito yung pinagbasehan. At ito yung mga result. You can further improve these images using Epscale. Meron ditong Alchemy Smooth at Alchemy Crisp. Alchemy Smooth is pang upscale for animations and cartoons or mga 2D. While the Crisp is for photos na mas may texture, yung mga realistic or 3D. Susubukan natin yung dalawa for this. Dito gamitin natin yung smooth. Crisp naman for this. To review, here are the images we used. Ito yung original photo. And the smooth upscale. Ito yung isang original photo. And the crisp upscale. As you can see, mas higher resolution ang upscaled images. Let's do another one. Try natin tong picture ni Hope. Model niya is absolute reality. Naka-on din yung alchemy at prompt magic. Prompt strength is 0.5. Yung resonance and contrast boost is same lang. Pwede mo din kopyahin itong seed number. Para itong master key sa generated image na to. Gamit ang seed number, gagawin mong starting point ang image na to. Sa edgy generate mo na image. Ilagay mo lang siya dito sa advanced settings na box. Yung preset is dynamic, which is already nakaset dito. Kopyahin lang natin yung prompt. But instead of Hulk, gawin natin Thor. Ito yung mga result, sobrang detailed din like meron talagang fine hairs and lines dito sa nuo ni Thor. Let's proceed to the next part, which is itong AI Canvas. Basically para itong Microsoft Paint. Wherein you further edit your images. May apat na option dito kung paano ka mag -e input Yung default is in paint out paint. So for example, kukuha lang din tayo from community feed. Ito okay na to. E expand ko lang tong image na to. Adjust natin to fit the screen. Tapos i-move natin tong selection tool to the left at input lang tayo ng gusto nating idagdag. Take note na dapat mag-overlap somehow sa source image mo yung box. Para yung generated image is magbi-blend in sa original na picture. Nilagay ko lang, hot in a forest. Ito yung results. Dalawang images lang pinili ko sa generation so dalawa lang din yung pwede pagpilian. Itong first ang pinili ko. Next sa lower right naman. Nilagay ko lang lake. Then the rest of the image. Lagyan ko lang ng birds dito sa upper right. Then dito mga moses.
Ito yung end result, hindi na masama, pero you can probably do better. This is for educational purpose lang naman. Next option is text to image. Same lang din siya sa in paint out paint. The major difference is yung generated images. Hindi iko consider kung anong image originally nasa canvas. So hindi siya magbi-blend. For example dito, mag-a-add tayo ng palaka. Yung binigay is completely different. At hindi nagbase dito sa other image. Next is image to image. Ito yung magbibigay ka ng idea sa AI kung anong gusto mong i-add sa image through sketching. So dito mag a ako ng plan. Change ko muna yung color to green. Then gawa lang tayo dito ng sketch. Type lang plant as the prompt. Mag-generate ito ng something out of the sketch and prompt. Or gawin nating rows. As you can see, sinubukan pa rin ng AI to blend with the original image. Yung last naman is sketch to image. Similar to text to image, magski-sketch ka kung anong gusto mong idagdag sa image. Pero dito, mas pulido siya. Kasi kung saan area ka lang nag-sketch, yun lang din ang mababago. Hindi masasali yung background unlike image to sketch. And that's it. Yun yung pinaka-basic na dapat mong malaman regarding this platform. The best way to learn din talaga is by going at it yourself. You can sign up to their website and just play around. You can always come back to this video as reference and eventually you'll get the hang of it.